years, it will set us back a generation. They will completely support me and what I stand for. And what is that? The American oligarchs out there, they are coming for us. As a patriot, we really are. Someone who's now showing his true colors. Sometimes you have to hurt one person for the because of original programs like what you just seen are some of the reasons why Netflix has gone up. In this video, we're going to talk about what else you can do, saving money in the cord cutting world, and avoiding high fees from all the cord cutting streams. And it starts right now. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still What's up, YouTube? You're back in the building with Lamont Tyson, host of the Life Games channel. And if you enjoy reviews of everything, cord cutting, tech, uh, R. Kelly's crazy behaviors, pop culture, we review it all. And if you have review requests, you can leave them in the link description below for the Life Games Facebook page. Please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the reviews. So we got to talk about this Netflix thing because I didn't get a chance to do it last week. But first, I got to put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up my crowd, giving you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. If you like the Black Panther hoodie or the Black Panther hat, the link to my Amazon store is in the video description. Go check them out. So last week, ladies and gentlemen, Netflix was in the news more than R. Kelly broke ass because they increased their fees anywhere from 13 to 18%. With their cheapest plan being $9, their most popular plan being 13. And now they're tagging you if you're having multiple people use your password and account to log in. So they've got a plan for that now that's gonna cost you $16. Why did they go up? One reason is Netflix for the longest time was having their service subsidized. At this point in time, they have about 50 million households using their service in America. And in the beginning, you know, Netflix was like back catalog type of stuff, um, you know, the, the, the old stuff. But then they took off with all their original programmings and that made Netflix hot. So now their stockholders have said, you know what, Netflix, it is time for your asses to make some of that money that we have invested. We want to see some returns, some dividends on our money. And so that is one of the reasons why Netflix has now increased their prices. But here are the things you all need to know about this. Netflix is not going to be the only streaming service that's going to start increasing prices. Pretty much in the cord cutting world, you came to cord cutting because the cable monopolies was raping the hell at your ass and you were sick of it. You wasn't getting what you want. Then they, when you call customer service, they were just terrible treating you bad and you was frustrated. Well now, everybody in this industry has caught on to this cord cutting trend. So everybody's creating a streaming service. Disney, D um, DC, Hulu, ESPN. They're all coming up with their own ways of how they can rape you all over again because you've cord cut it. You have to be vigilant in the services and the content you want. So right now, if you're paying for five different services but you're only using one, you need to go and cut some of those other services because the whole reason you got into this thing was because you wanted to cut that cable bill in half. And if you're not careful, you'll be paying as much as you was paying for cable all over again with all these various stream services. So. One thing that this has highlighted for you is go through your bills, see what it is you're paying for all your stream services and cut some of that fat because we want you guys to be saving money 
We will be doing more and more reviews of these streaming services, so before you buy one, you can come here and look and see if it's something you want to try and test out before you commit to it, because we want you guys to save money. Now, this is just going to be the trend, ladies and gentlemen, until they wind up eradicating cable. Everybody that has their own content is going to be creating an app and it's going to try to make you spend money to get it. It bothers me that they didn't see that so many people have cut the cord and went underground because they're getting raped. Now, it might not seem like this $2 increase on Netflix is a lot, but it's definitely, you think about it, if you do $2 times 50 million subscribers just in the U.S., that's a lot of money. That's $100 million. So I just want you guys to be mindful of what you have paying out for stream services that you're not using so that you can continue to make those life gains in saving that money. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Remember, any requests you have or things you want me to review, it doesn't matter what it is, pop coach events, Kim Kardashian's butt, new shoes, whatever. This is going to be the review channel going forward. We review everything. Go to Facebook, my Facebook Life Games page. Leave me a message so I can review it for you. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.